All right. There we are. Okay. Hello there, everybody. We are live via Facebook, and uh, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy joining us. Uh, it's a unique time. We can't have the kids in the gym. It's kind of weird to be in the gym with none of our kids in here. And so we thought we'd bring our gym to you in the comfort of your own home so that hopefully we can get these kids up and moving. I know our prime minister yesterday said we got to get the kids running around the house, so let's do that. Um, we're going to do some things uh, with basic recreational gymnastics today, go over some shapes, get the kids kind of moving in their living room. So, so just some basic rules here. Make sure they have some good space. So kids, make sure you have some space so you don't accidentally uh, run into anything. Uh, make sure that you, uh, if you need to use the washroom or you need to get a drink, you don't need to ask me. Just go, because I'm not with you, right? Okay? Uh, and most of all, let's have some fun and let's get, uh, get physically active whilst we're all cooped up in our houses and and uh, in this times of uncertainty. So let's get boogieing. I have a uh, special helper here. My daughter, Emily, is actually here. She's being quarantined with me. So uh, she's going to help out at certain times to try and show some uh, different, you know, techniques or shapes or whatever. And, and we can all kind of get fit together. So we hope you enjoy. And uh, one thing that I'd like to do to start our warm-up, um, I see that we have some people that are joining us. So hello, crew. Um, to start our warm-up, uh, let's have the kids. The first thing, the warm-up, obviously, it's pretty easy, is you're going to go grab a kid, uh, a pillow. So all the kids out there, you're just going to go grab a pillow. Hopefully it's right next to you. If you got to run up to your bedroom, great. Even better, it'll start our warm-up. And you're going to bring it downstairs, okay, or maybe on your same level. And you're going to bring it to your little space. And you're going to use it at certain points. Sometimes we may use it to run around or jump over or whatever. But we're going to get started here. So the first thing is, is once the kids have their pillow, they're going to drop it on the floor so that it's the, kind of the middle of the space here. And we're going to use it as a reference point, And we're going to start just kind of jogging on the spot. So the kids are just going to jog behind their pillow, and they're going to use it. And we're going to pretend here that we're kind of on a little bit of a, uh, we're in the woods, let's say, okay, and we're running. And uh, we're going to start first, if we see a bear, okay, and I yell out bear, you're going to obviously jump away from your pillow and go, ah! Okay, so that's going to be our first command. The second command is we're going to say puddle, okay? And when you hear the word puddle, okay, we're going to jump onto our pillow and make a big splash. So it kind of looks like this. Okay, so you're running. And then we're going to add a third command here. Our third command is going to be a tree trunk, or a tree, we'll say. And when you hear the word tree, you've got to duck underneath it. Okay, so you've got to duck underneath the tree, and then you've got to stand back up, and you've got to run. So as we're running through the forest, okay, we're going to go, and bear! Ah! All right, and we're running. Maybe we can go a little bit faster now. So we're running because obviously we just got away from a bear. He's pretty fast. So let's start running a little faster. Puddle! And start running. Running faster. Tree! Whoa! Tree! Whoa! Tree! Oh my goodness, there's so many trees here. A bear! Ah! And we're running. We're running faster. Maybe we go supersonic speed now. So supersonic speed and puddle! Puddle! Bear! Ah! And we're running faster, faster, faster! Tree! Woo! Tree! Whoa! And let's start slowing it down. Man, that's pretty tiring there, huh? Very good. And let's take a breather. Woo! Man, that's pretty fast, huh? Now we're going to start, okay, on our journey, walking around our tree. Or our pillow, we should say. Our pillow, right? So we're walking around it. Stay facing forwards. So you can see me, and I can see you, right? And if you're just joining in, you can get your pillow on the floor. And we're just doing a little bit of a warm-up to get moving. And go the other direction now, right? And we're going to add those commands in. Okay, so we have tree, we have bear, and we have puddle. And for tree, we're going underneath it. For puddle, of course, we're jumping on our pillow. And for bear, of course, ah! We're going back. So we're going to start going a little faster around our pillow. All right? We're getting a little faster. Tree! Woo! Nice. Puddle! Good. Going a little faster. Bear! Ah! Go the other way around your pillow. Tree! Ah! Bear! Ah! Puddle! Whoa, man. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired now. So let's take our... Pillow, 
hold it right up above our heads. Okay, we're going to reach it right up in the sky. This is called a straight shake. Most of you will know it, but we're going to try to make sure that everybody does out there. This is our straight shake. Okay, and if we put our pillow on the floor and we put our hands on it, that's called our squat shake. Make sure you know those if you don't. If you do, you're all good, right? So we're going to start a little bit with our legs in what's called straddle. So if you want to follow along, you can. If you just joined us, you can follow along. Of course, you need a pillow in front of you. Your arms are going to start out to the sides, and we're going to begin backwards arm circling. So we're making them really, really fast, but small. A little bit like Cheerios, right? Now we're going to make them big and slow, a bit like big donuts. Mmm, donuts and Cheerios, right? Good job. And let's make them forwards, small and fast. Very good. And now big and slow like donuts, right? So we're doing Cheerios and donuts. Very nice. Arms are going to be in front of us now, and we're going to keep them super straight. So this is a bent arm, and this is a straight arm. We want to have straight arms here. One swings up, and one swings down. And you keep them super straight as you're swinging them, and try to keep your body nice and tall. So don't have your head down. Keep yourself nice and tall. And we're going to now swing them together. So we're swinging both arms together. Again, super straight, keeping that chin up. Right. Very good. Everybody's looking good. And now elbows are bent, and we're going to turn our bodies. I've noticed nobody has gone and got a drink of water yet. That's fantastic. <laughs> and elbows are going to be straight, and we're turning our bodies. Very nice. Looking good, Facebook world. Hands on your hips. Okay, and you're going to lean to one side, and you're going to go tick. And then the other side, you're going to go ta. Right? Super simple. So let's say it out loud. Tick, ta. Tick, ta. Okay, now when we go forward and back, we're going to go ding, dong. Ding, dong. Okay, so now we're going to get kind of confusing here. Make sure you keep up. If you can say it out loud, it makes it even better. Tick, ding, ta, dong. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are we ready again? Tick, ding, ta, dong. Can you go the other way? Ta, ding, tick, dong. Oh, man. It's so hard to do it. Maybe we can go a little faster. So we go tick, dong, tick, ding. See if you can follow along. Ready? Ta, ding, ta, dong. Whoa, that is confusing. And it's even more confusing because my camera is flipped around. So for you, you might actually be looking at it and think, Mr. Nick, you're going the wrong way. And you might be right. Okay, so we're going to go tick, dong, tick, ding. Dong, ta, tick, ding, dong. Oh, that's tricky stuff. Okay, legs are together. So you start with your legs together. Arms are going to be up. You should remember this is our straight shape. Before, if you just joined in, we did this with a pillow, but now we're going to do it with our hands above our head. And we're going to, with straight legs, so I'm going to turn a bit, with straight legs, you're going to reach down and try to touch your toes. And let's hold there for 10 seconds. So you all stay out down in that pipe, and we'll hold for 10, 9, 8, super straight legs, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, you're going to stand back up, so nice and tall, and we're going to drop down to our squat shape. So this is our squat shape, if you can see it. Now we have three rules in a squat, kiddos. Three rules. And parents, if you're joining in too, you can join in. So three rules in a squat. Rule number one is your hand has to be flat on the floor. So if you can see, you don't want your hand to be with just your fingers. You want them to be flat. Okay, flat. You need to have your knees together, and your feet have to be together. Very, very important. Those are the three rules. Okay, and on the count of three, we're going to jump up in the air, and we're going to land back on the earth in what's called a landing shape. So that looks like this. Okay, so on the count of three, we're going to do it together. Ready? One, two, and, oh, wait, 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 I forgot. I forgot to give you the next rule. Okay, wait, wait. You have to make sure when you jump, that we're going to do a straight shape in the air. I bet some of you already jumped because I tricked you a little bit, but we're going to do it together now. Are we ready? 
On the count of three. One, two, three. Jump and landing shape. Super duper. Saw some of you were moving out there a little bit, right? Maybe there's an earthquake going on. I'm not sure. When you land, you have to try to be frozen like a statue. We'll try it again for those that didn't do so well, okay? I saw some of you out there. Are we ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Jump and freeze in your landing shape. Correct. Okay, so remember that because in a little bit, we're going to play a game with that. Okay, we're going to play a game with that. So just remember that how we did that. We started in a squat, we jumped up in the air, and we did a landing shape. Okay, super. Okay, so let's take a seat. Woo, yes. Everybody thinks, yes, it's time to sit. So we're going to start with our legs out in front of you. I'm going to take off my shoes here so you can see. And we're going to start sitting up nice and tall by pointing our feet. So our feet are going to be pointed, okay? And now we're going to flex them, okay? So point and flex. And we're going to alternate, something called alternate. We're going to go back and forth with our feet. So hopefully you can see that. You're moving your feet back and forth. Super duper. Now, separate your feet. Can you make gigantic circles with your feet? Like you're drawing with your toes. Ooh, that's a smelly drawing, huh? And let's try to go the other way. Super duper. Now we're going to have our legs out in front of us. Arms are going to go way up in the air. And we're going to try to do what's called a pike fold. So we fold at the waist and we touch our toes. And we're going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Super duper. Now, taking your pillow out, we're going to separate our legs to what's called a straddle. So legs are apart, of course, and we're going to put our pillow in the middle, okay, in the middle. So arms are out to the side, and let's reach over to one side and grab that foot and count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's swap over to the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Super duper. Now we're going to go in the middle, and this is my favorite part. Because you have your super soft pillow here. And I know that we have some kids that have some pent-up energy in the building, and they really got to get moving here. You're going to try to mash your face in your pillow as if you're going to sleep tonight. So we're going to do it really slow at first, and then we're going to get boogieing and going for it, like we're listening to some really rock and roll music, and we're just going to, like, headbang it, okay? So let's start slow first. So we're going down slow. Tap your face on your pillow. And you parents might need to bring your pillow up a little bit because you might not be able to go as far. I know, it's okay. Okay? And let's go slow again. Tap that face and back up. And now let's go a little bit faster. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's like a pie being splashed in your face, right? Oh, man. Let's go supersonic fast now. Oh, man. That's really fun, huh? You can do three more because I know you can't resist. So one, and two, and three. Woo! Very nice. Excellent. Emily's laughing at me in the back here. She's got a real good smile. And if you're just tuning in, Emily, come on forward and introduce yourself. This is my daughter here. So we're going to play a game. So Emily's out here. She's going to play a little bit. We're going to play something called rock, paper, scissors. Most of you know it. Some of you call it rock, paper, scissors. Okay, some of you call it that, and others around the world call it a different name. I don't know, wherever you're from, but we're going to play this game. Now, here's how you play. Everybody knows the easy way, like the real way, where you go rock, paper, scissors, shoot, right? We know that, but we're going to play it the gymnastics way, okay? So we're going to get some of our shapes are going to be called rock, okay? So if you watch Emily, if she's going to be in the air and do a tuck jump, so Emily does a tuck jump, that's going to be rock. Okay, that's going to be rock. Now, paper is going to be a straight shape. So, Emily, that's, our, that's a straight shape, right? So, she jumped in the air, and she was doing a straight shape. So, that's called paper, all right? And then scissors is going to be what we call a straddle or a star jump, right? Either one, a straddle or star, okay? So, we're going to play the game, and, and then after we play it, or you can play in your living room with your parents or your guardians or your siblings, whatever, right? You can play against each other, and then I'm going to play Facebook World, all right? And for sure, I'm going to win. Okay, I know it, because I can guess everybody's won, and I'm just going to get you. So we're going to start, Emily and I, and you can play with a partner in your home there. 
Are you ready, Emily? We're gonna start in a squat shape. So everybody's in a squat. And you're gonna play just like you do rock, paper, scissors. So you're gonna go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And when you say shoot, you're gonna jump up and do your shape. So Emily and I are gonna go first. Are you ready? Of course I'm gonna beat Emily, it's okay. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, we tied. We both did scissors or a straddle jump. So we tied, so we're gonna play again. Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna get you this time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, she got me. She was a rock by doing a tuck. I was a scissor by doing a straddle or a star jump. She won. Okay, so whilst you're in your living room, play a few times, okay? Play a few times together with your parents or your siblings, or even if you want to play Emily or I, because you're alone maybe, you can do that. All right, so are we ready? All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I got you that time. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, you ready to play again? Yeah, mm -hmm. ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I got you two in a row. Ready? Rock, paper, oh, sorry. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, we tied that one. Okay, last round, winner takes all. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, we tied, very nice, very nice. Okay, now comes the big moment. Facebook world, internet world versus me. I'm coming after you. I can already read your mind. I know what you're gonna pick. I'm gonna get you this time. Are we ready? On the count of three, Emily, step aside. I need all the, the distance I can get because I'm about to take on the world here. I'm hopeful I win. Are we ready, crew? On the count of three here, we're going to get our shoot. And rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I was scissors. I beat all of you out there. You guys all chose paper. Good try. Well done. Next time you'll get it, okay? Fantastic. Keep practicing that. Okay, all right, so we're gonna play a different version of it. Real quick, one more version, same game though. Okay, and we're gonna do it by sitting down. So Emily, come on out. All right, so of course my daughter Emily is gonna join in too. So we're gonna play a little different way. You're gonna do it seated. Okay, so sit down. And the shapes this time, you're starting in a seated position. Paper is, well, we'll start from the beginning. Rock is gonna be tuck. Okay, rough, so tuck, all right? Paper is going to be laying flat. You see that? Laying flat. So that's paper, and scissors is going to be straddle, right? So you have rock, paper, and scissors. See how that works? Okay, we're gonna play, of course, in your living rooms or wherever you are, you can play amongst yourselves. Let's do three times, and then we'll get moving again with our lesson on a different adventure. Okay, so, are you ready? And rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I got you. Are you ready? And rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, two in a row. Oh, last one. I think it's the winner here. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you got it. Well done. Very good. Okay. So that is our rock, paper, scissors game. Of course, when we finish our lesson, you can keep playing. What else do you have to do in your house other than video games and sit on the couch? So you can play some moving games. That's one of them. I hope you enjoy that, okay? All right, so our next adventure here and another shape that we want to do, super important shape, okay, is called a lunge. It's called a lunge, okay? So Emily, my daughter here, Emily is going to demonstrate it. So can you show your lunge shape? And Emily, of course, has one foot out in front of her, okay? And I want everybody out there to hold that shape whilst I'm explaining, okay? And you can look at the screen, of course, whilst you're doing it. We want to try in a lunge to place most of our body weight on our front foot, okay? So if you do a lunge long enough, you might actually start sweating. It's kind of one of those shapes that's active. It's not just hanging out. It's active. So you want to lean on that front leg. You want to lean on it, okay? And you want to see if you can have a straight line from your fingers up here, down your body, to your back leg. So that should be like a straight line, okay? So you wanna make sure you do that. That's a really, really good technical feature of a lunge, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our lunge. Thank you, Emily, I can go on now. So we're gonna use our lunge to do something called an arabesque, all right? And it's a balance skill. So we're gonna do it together. So start in your lunge. Everybody's in that lunge shape. 
arms are going to be overhead. Of course, we're leaning on that front foot. And when I say begin, we're going to try to take our back leg off the floor, and we're going to balance with our arms overhead. And this is called an arabesque. So let's do it together. Ready? Arms are up. Lean forward and balance. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to land what I like to call your airplane or arabesque back in lunge. Okay, back in lunge. So you're going to try that again. I'm going to face forward to you this time. And we're going to do it again. Same leg forward. I'll back up a bit so you can see. Arms overhead. And on the count of three, Facebook world, we're going to get into our arabesque. Ready? And one, two, three, begin. One, two, three, four, five. Good work. Fantastic. Now, you really good kids out there, and really good parents, maybe, you really good participants can try to get your back leg to go up to what we call horizontal. So it's going to go all the way up to a position where you look a little bit like the letter T. Okay, like the letter T. That's the sign of a good arabesque. Most people will call it also a teeter-totter, okay? Because it looks a little bit like a seesaw or a teeter-totter. And that's what we're getting to. So we've left our arms overhead. So get into your lunge again. And we haven't put them out to the side or had them bent or one arm up and one arm down or even the worst, you lazy kids with the arms down. We've had them overhead. That's very important, okay? Because we're going to use this teeter-totter, and we're going to do one more here. Okay, on the count of three, we're going to use it. And let's hold. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to tap our hands on the floor. Right? So you've done a lunge teeter-totter, okay, or arabesque, and you tapped your feet on the floor. Or your hands, I should say. I apologize. Your hands on the floor you touch. All right, so let's do that together. We're going to start... One foot forward, arms are overhead. Let's do our balance. One, two, three, four, five. Tap your hands and come back to lunge. Right? So you tapped your hands and you came back to lunge. And the important thing, this is the most important thing, that you always do this in control. You don't want to flop around. It's okay sometimes in here, we have lots of mats, but for goodness sakes, you're gonna, you're gonna knock over your mom's china vase if you go out of control and knock yourself silly on the coffee table. So you have to be nice and simple and in control when you do this, okay? So we're gonna try it one more time, but this time we're gonna do it on the opposite leg that you chose before. So for me, I chose this leg to begin. I'm gonna switch it this time and try it on the other leg. Might be a little harder, okay? So we're starting in lunge, arms are overhead, and let's bounce. One, two, three, four, five, and let's land back in lunge. Good work. Good job. Now we're going to try it where we tap our hands after we do the fifth second. Are we ready? Arms are up in lunge. And one, two, three, four, five. Tap those hands and back to lunge. Okay, good work. Of course, we did it on the other side that time. We did it on the other side. Very important. And if you're just joining in, okay, we're just moving through some, some of our shapes. You're more than welcome to join in, okay? We've been going through our lunge shape, okay, our lunge shape. Now we're going to, and if you don't have a partner, that's absolutely fine. I bet everybody somewhere in their house probably has a chair. So if you have a chair available, you're going to use this. If you have a partner, maybe a family member, or maybe you have one of your siblings or whatever, right? You can use them to help you here. Okay. You can use them to help you. Here's how you do this. We're going to do a shape called a front support. Most of you know it. And if you do, go ahead and get into it. So you're going to do your front support, right? See how that works? This is called a front support. And I'm going to have my daughter, Emily, Come on out, because she's been helping us so kindly. So if you just joined in, this is Emily. Okay, she's gonna get in her front support. So we'll move you back a bit so the participants can see. Okay, all right. And I'll tell you why I have the chair here in a second. If you don't have a partner, you'll be able to use it. Okay. So your partner, okay, is gonna come along, and they're gonna teach you how to keep your legs, what we call together. 
legs together. This is a very important thing. So if you notice, Emily has started in her round push-up shape, her round push-up shape. And we're reviewing this because if you watch the video later, maybe you can review that for yourself. But we have her in a round front support. And I am going to come along and I'm only going to grab one of her legs. One of them. And I'm just going to lift it. And what Emily, my daughter, has to do is keep her legs touching. So let your legs touch together. Bring that one up. Aha! Uh -huh. And she brought her other leg together with that one. See that? So I only raise it a little bit. And the reason I told you, for you, those of you who are alone and you don't have access to a partner, I told you to use a chair, is you can do the same thing. Okay? So we'll bring the chair out and Emily can demonstrate. She's only going to get in her front support. Okay? So she's in her front support with her feet on the chair. And she's going to try to move her legs to the side of the chair so that only one of her legs is on the side of the chair. The other one can dangle if it wants to, but she's going to keep it together. You see that? So she's learning to do something called keep her legs together. And we're going to try to hold our legs together for 10 seconds. Okay, so if you just joined in and you need to get a chair because you don't have a partner, it's absolutely fine. If you need a partner, I can't help you right now, but maybe you have somebody there that can. So I'm going to help Emily. We're going to count to 10, and then we're going to do it on the other leg. And let's have everybody join in. Okay, so let's get you ready. You need your chairs. Get them all ready, okay? I'm gonna help my daughter, Emily, here. She's starting in her front support. And let's get everybody ready on the count of three, and we're gonna grab one leg, or move our work onto one leg. Ready? And let's begin. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome work, fantastic. Okay? You don't have to lift very high. It doesn't have to be very high. It can be very, very little. Okay? Just as long as you feel like you're using the inner part of your legs to keep your legs together, like they're glued. Okay? Let's try the other leg. All right? So we're doing the same exercise, just on the other leg. Okay? So Emily's the worker. My daughter Emily's the worker. And I'm going to help her. Ready on the count of three? One, two, three, and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and wonderful. Fantastic work. So that's one way you can learn how to keep your legs together. Very important. Often in gymnastics, we say be tight. So being tight. We learn how to be tight. Okay? Very good. So for those of you who just joined, we're going to move in. We've done our shapes. We've done a great warm-up. If you missed it, I really apologize. When we upload this, you can redo it, okay? We ran away from bears. We ran under trees. We jumped in puddles. You missed it, okay? All right. So we're going to now move in to our next shape, okay? Very important shape. Some of you will know it. It's called hollow, hollow. In Hawaiian, or in Hawaii, they call it haloha. Ha, 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 ha. Aloha. Okay, my daughter Emily is going to demonstrate here. She's going to lay down on her back, okay? Well, sorry, she's going to actually sit, okay? Sit. And move back just a bit, Emily, so the viewers can see. She's going to start by placing her hands on her thighs. So Emily has placed her hands on her thighs, and she's going to turn her hands up. So her palms are up. See that? And she's going to lay back until her palms come in contact about on her thighs. So she begins to lay back, and then she's going to raise her legs about six inches, okay? And she's in what's called a hollow shape. If you can see, beautiful shape here, okay? She's using her stomach muscles, some of her thigh muscles, her nice core to hold what's called hollow. And if I keep talking here, she'll keep working, and she'll get so tired. It's going to be great, okay? But I want you to join in too. So let's get everybody together. So we're going to start. My daughter, Emily, is going to sit down. She's going to take her hands on her thighs. She's going to turn them over. And she's going to lay back. And everybody join in. And we're going to count to 10 doing a hollow shape. OK, we ready? So laying back. Fantastic. Feet are up for six inches. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Kids, what comes after six? No, not five. Seven comes after six, okay? 
I don't know what, well, maybe you're out of school right now, but seven comes after six. So seven, six, five, there you go. Four, three, two, and wonderful. Fantastic. So that is your hollow shape. Maybe you can play with your parents later on and see who can do the longest hollow shape. Yeah. Or in Hawaiian, of course, haloha shape. Yeah. So fantastic, Emily. Thank you very much. Okay. And the last thing we're going to move into, we did a little bit of our warm up. So if you just joined in, you missed our warm up. Then we did a little bit of our calisthenics, we call it. So those were the movements on the spot. Okay, those are called calisthenics. Then we moved into our shapes. We did a little conditioning, and now we're going to finish off on everybody's favorite, a little bit of flexibility. Okay, a little bit of flexibility. Very important to do our gymnasts. So we're going to start with our legs together. Of course, our straight shape, I know you remember that. And let's go down, nice and easy breathing, and count to 10 by holding in what's called a pike pose. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna take one of our legs, we're gonna cross it over the other one, and we're gonna do the same thing, but this time for five seconds. So big deep breath in, and big deep breath out, and let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna take our other leg, of course, cross it over, big deep breath in, and breathe out. Reaching down for five, four, three, two, one. All right. And let's take a seat on the floor. So wherever you are, maybe you're in your living room, take a seat. Arms are going to go up. We're going to pike fold forward. Breathe out. Nice, easy breathing for five, four. The lower you can go, the better. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Straddle so our legs are apart. And we're going to move in the front. And when you go in the front, it has a funny name. A lot of the kids will know it. It's called a pancake. So we're going to go down in a pancake. Believe it or not, if you go halfway across the world, some people call it a japana. A japana. Okay? So it has other names too. But we're going to go down and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to bring our feet in. Let them touch. And we're in what's called a butterfly shape. And you're going to flap your wings up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your nose as far as you can down towards your toes for one, two, three, four, five. Good work. And if you have, if you maybe you're in your living room and it's a little harder floors or you're on a carpet, it should be okay. I'm not sure. It's a little unique for your own setting. But if you need to use your pillow for the next one, you can. That way it doesn't hurt when we do rocks back and forth. What we're going to do is we're going to start in the tuck, and you can kind of rock on your pillow back and forth. If you're on a carpet setting like I am, it's all good. You can just rock. And we're going to rock back and forth, kind of really around back, a little bit like we're a ball, a basketball, or a bowling ball, and you're just rocking back and forth. Very good. Should feel pretty good to some of you. Excellent. And we'll stand up, give a little bit of a shake to all of our legs and limbs. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is a little bit of a, it's a good gymnastics joke, we'll call it. Okay. So all you kids out there, you're going to tell your parents that today you did your gymnastics lesson and it was a great fun. We had a good time. Okay. But you're going to teach them how to walk on their hands and they're going to say to you, I can't do that. And you're going to say, yes, you can. Okay, and here's how you do it. You're going to bring them out, and you're going to tell them to reach up as tall as they can. They're going to place their hands underneath their feet, and they're going to walk on them. You see that? You're going to teach them how to walk on their hands. Super simple. And if they can't do that, tell them to work on their flexibility. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Uh, it's a unique time for us. We, we all need to kind of gather together and get ourselves some physical literacy whilst we're on a uh, little bit of a time that's uh, uncertainty. So if you guys enjoyed this, let us know. We'd love to do more for you. It was an amazing time for me. It kind of pushed my boundaries professionally to get something and do recreation. 
uh, outside of our comfort zone. So thank you, everybody, for joining in. And we really hope you enjoyed this. So kids, have a great time. Be safe. Enjoy and wash those hands.